friends, today's video, we're going to talk about some ugly comments that I've received, you've received, and the more couponing you do, you're probably going to hear in the future. So you have a really nice haul, or somebody visits your home, or a cashier might be checking out your haul, and they say something to the effect of, what are you going to do with all that? Or they give you an idea of what you should do with your Penny Hall or your Walgreens Hall or your CVS Hall that you should really donate it to the following group. And then they follow it up with, well, what is one person going to do with all that? And then they follow it up with, you are so greedy. And for the most part, like you don't even get to finish the sentence. They just decide where you should donate it, what you should do with said item, and the fact that you're a greedy person. Well, I mean, wouldn't it be nice to just turn it around on the person and say, well, you're stupid because you don't know how to coupon. <laughs> you know, it's just, I always think it's interesting that somebody will see your hobby and then immediately have opinions that aren't so great about it with them even trying it the one time yet they have these really strong opinions that it's wrong and you should do the following with it I just what gives them the right do you go through their pay stub and say well how much money you're making this month you should really give all of it to a charity no because it's really none of your business as it's really none of their business to tell you what you should do with your stuff period end of story if you want to keep it all in your basement because we went through something in 2020 Having a stockpile of paper, I think, is a pretty smart um, way to go. How many of us gave most of our stockpile of paper away to family uh, during the height of, uh, you know, the lockdowns? A lot of us did. It's one of those things, guys. It's really interesting that people are so opinionated when they see stockpiles that they're disgusted by it or they have really strong opinions. A lot of them don't ever say, well, how do I do this? They want to just criticize. And it's like anything in life. Is that just born out of jealousy or is it just like an opinion? What really, really irritates me the most is when someone specifically sees a haul that I do because a lot of my stuff is on social media. And then they'll say, you need to donate the following items to the following group. And to that, you don't know where I'm donating stuff because I rarely barely show that because here's another thing. If you're going to keep showing all of your donations and what a great person that I am, well, maybe you're virtue signaling a little too hard there. And I get that as well. No matter what you do, when you're a public couponer, you get criticized a hundred different ways. And even if you're not really a social media person and you're just doing this on your own to have a stockpile when something hits the fan, some family members might have some intentions or some comments that are truly ugly and then we'll throw them in your face. And to that, you know, in one ear, out the other. Don't take too much to it. And if they want to tell you what to do with all of your stuff, they can go pay retail and then donate it and do this and do that. My favorite too is uh, there's a cashier at one of my Rite Aids and she always has to say it if I'm buying a couple for breezes or whatever. And you know that the halls at Rite Aid are not ponderosas that they were four or five years ago, but always has to say, where are you going to store all this in your house? Well, you don't live with me, so what does it matter? But she always has some stupid comment like that, and I really don't know what that is. Maybe the next time I'll call her out on it and say, what are you going to do with your whole paycheck? Let's go through it dollar by dollar. Irritating. But the flip side of a stupid comment like this is, why are you buying so much Tide? Why are you buying so much toilet paper? Why are you buying so much of whatever? It is your, your decision at the end of the day, and really... Um, a lot of us at Christmas time, if you have 10 workmates, if you have 15 people in your family that you're gifting to, this is a way that you could really be generous around the holidays and really help people out, especially because January is sometimes a really hard month, month financially for a lot of people, but it's just a way that a lot of us can really give big. If we want to give to groups like the SPCA, a big one that I donate to, especially cleaning products, paper towel, and the different pet foods. Those animals have no say in why they're there, but someone like me can really help out. Do I show my SPCA donations monthly? No. But are they done? Yes. With stockpile goods? Yes. Trying to help them out, especially, you guys know I have a huge soft spot for cats. These unfortunate rude comments, guys, they just happen. It's part of the coupon game. In the comments down below, tell me the worst you've ever been told by a cashier or somebody you know. And let's start a very spirited talk in the comments. As always, thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.